Okay, I am Aya guys. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Aya and I'm a bento mom. I make fun and creative lunch boxes for my daughter Zion. I'm also into gardening and homemaking. So if these are the things that interest you, please keep on watching. Happy Thursday guys! It's almost the weekend again and for this week, we're still doing random bento creations. So these are recreations of old bento boxes that I have already done in the past and of course which I have already posted on my Instagram account here. So for today's creation, we're going to be doing another popular cartoon character from Cartoon Network, popular among the girls. So let's check and see what the ingredients are and what we're going to do for today. So for today's creation, we're going to be doing Blossoms of the Powerpuff Girls. So the ingredients for our character bento, of course we have here very light orange na color dries. For the skin or for the face, and then we have orange color dries for the hair. And then we also have very light red color dries. This is for part of the eyes. And then for the details, I have nori sheets. So I cut two circles out of nori. There you go. Two big circles and then one curved line as well for the mouth. Here. So let me show you. One curved line and two circles that you need to cut out of the nori. And then also part of the eyes, we need two circles as well. The smaller this time. So I just poked a hole sa ating cheese slice. So this one. And then I used a straw and poked a hole. So I got those two little circles there. Right? So this is for the details. And then for the food coloring naman, when you color your rice, to achieve this very light uh, color ng orange for the skin tone, I used one drop of green leaf food coloring. I diluted it into 6 tablespoons of water and then poured it over the rice, mixed and mashed it to achieve the consistency that is workable to mold, okay? And then for our orange naman na color dries, I used green leaf food coloring as well. One drop into one tablespoon naman this time to achieve this shade. And then for the light red, I used red na McCormick food coloring so one drop into six tablespoons of water okay to achieve this light, very light shade and then for our sides we have here fried fish so this is tilapia fried tilapia i've shredded it already we also have lettuce for the garnishing so for our fruit today we'll, we'll have apple slices and we have mocha cake for our dessert Okay, and then we also have our yum box, of course, we'll be using the lilac purple, and then of course, our cling wrap. So we'll start by molding the rice. So I cut a portion of our cling wrap, and I'll be putting the very light orange colored rice. So this is for the head. So just pull up yung corners ng no, yung cling wrap, and then... Just make it compact first by forming it into a ball. Okay. So the shape that we want to achieve for this one is sort of an oval shape lang. So like this shape. Okay. There. We'll start molding the hair. Come on. So the hair is like a half circle so this is just something that we need to put on top of the head so this is like a um, semi circle or a half circle so we just want to achieve like a half circle like this because what we're gonna do later is we're gonna put it on top of the head like this Para sa kanyang hair. Okay. The last one that we will be molding is 
two circles or two round shapes for portion ng kanyang eyes. So, this is not pre-recorded or something. So, this is always done <laughs> live. So, we'll just mold. So, create a ball. And then, press it against the kitchen counter or a hard surface that you're working on to achieve a flat na circle like this. Okay? So we can now start putting together our bento. Okay? So we'll put yung ating base first here. Just to give it a color. Okay? Or design. Put the one here. Then we'll put yung kanyang mocha cake here. So again guys, when you're doing your kids' baons, please make sure to wash your hands. Okay? <laughs> that your hands are clean. And then we'll put na the one that we molded for the head here. So, just put it, this one here. Making sure that it will not crumble. Okay, and then we'll put the man yung half circle for the hair. So what I did was I just parted yung middle using scissors because her hair has a part in the middle. So I just did that. Okay, so there you go. I'm just praying that it wouldn't crumble. Okay. So what you see now is actually like a live film. I'm doing it impromptu, so bear with me. Yeah. Okay, so we'll now be putting yung dalawang circles. So the two circles that we've created for her eyes, right? Okay, I hope it stays put. <laughs> there. And then we'll put the nori sheet that we cut on top of it, right? can see it. The old one I did buttercup and bubbles. So this is the first time that I'm actually creating blossom. We'll put the cheese slices on top. There, you can see it. Okay. Almost done. And then just the back. So I think curve line. We'll use apple slices for her ribbon. The apple slices are supposed to be red. Kasi yung ribbon niya is color red. But the apple that we have here is a Fuji apple. So it's not quite red in color. So I'll put the rest of the apple slices here. Okay. So just making sure that they we have them here. So this is our finished product. So I didn't put any clips anymore. Then I'll show you my old creation here. So I made both bubbles and buttercup. Okay. So that's it for our bento creation for today. So I hope you learned something new again and I hope you enjoy what we've done. If you did, please like and share this video para mas marami pang mag-try mag-bento wing and also please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell para palagi kayong updated if I have a new video upload. Thank you for watching guys. See you on my next vlog. Bye!